Vacuum fluorescent displays are essentially highly specialized vacuum tube triodes. There is a filament cathode, a grid, and often multiple anodes coated in a special phosphor enclosed in a glass case pulled to a vacuum. The filament cathode heats up and begins to emit electrons. The grid controls how many of these electrons flow past towards the anodes. With multiple anodes contained within the VFD, the electrons will only be attracted to anodes that have been given a positive charge. When the electrons strike the anode, the phosphor fluoresces, emitting visible light. Multiple anodes can be grouped together under a single grid, and multiple grid-anode combinations can be laid out next to each other under a shared filament cathode. This enables multiplexed use by enabling the grids in sequence, reducing the number of control pins necessary for larger displays. Here we can see an IV3A 7-segment VFD displaying various numbers as the switches are turned on and off. Each switch applies voltage to specific segments, allowing them to illuminate. Additionally, the overall brightness can be controlled linearly by controlling the voltage on the grid. This can also be done using a PWM signal. 